India's physiography is diverse and can be broadly classified into several distinct regions, each with unique geographical features. These regions include the Himalayan mountains, the northern plains, the peninsular plateau, the Indian desert, the coastal plains and the islands. The Himalayan mountains. Located along the northern boundary of India, the Himalayas are divided into three main subdivisions. The Greater Himalayas, or Himadri, boast the highest peaks, including Mount Everest and Kanchenjunga. The Lesser Himalayas, known as Himachal, are home to popular hill stations like Shimla and Darjeeling. The Outer Himalayas, or Shivaliks, consist of the foothills with valleys such as Dehradun. These youngfold mountains are characterized by high peaks, deep valleys and significant seismic activity. The Northern Plains, situated south of the Himalayas, these plains stretch from the Indus River in the west to the Brahmaputra River in the east. They were formed by the alluvial deposits of the Indus, Ganges and Brahmaputra rivers. The subdivisions include the Punjab Plains, formed by the Indus and its tributaries, the Ganga Plains, an extensive plain formed by the Ganges and its tributaries, and the Brahmaputra Plains, shaped by the Brahmaputra River. These plains are known for their fertile soil, extensive agriculture and dense population. The Peninsular Plateau. Located in central and southern India, this ancient landmass was formed by the breakup of the Gondwana land. The subdivisions include the Deccan Plateau, a triangular landmass bounded by the Western Ghats, Eastern Ghats and the Satpura Range, and the Central Highlands, which encompass the Malwa Plateau and the Chota Nagpur Plateau. This region is rich in minerals, older than the Himalayas, and features varied topography, including hills, valleys and plateaus. The Indian Desert, also known as the Thar Desert, is located in western India, primarily in Rajasthan. This region is characterized by its sandy terrain, extreme temperatures, sparse vegetation and shifting dunes. The Luni River is the only major river in this arid region. Next we have the coastal plains, stretching along the eastern and western coasts of India. The western coastal plains are a narrow strip along the Arabian Sea, divided into the Konkan coast, Karnataka coast and Malabar coast. On the other hand, the eastern coastal plains are broader and lie along the Bay of Bengal, divided into the northern Sirkars and the Coromandel coast. These plains feature fertile deltas, such as the Ganges Brahmaputra Delta, as well as lagoons and estuaries. Moving on to the islands, we have the Andaman and Nicobar Islands located in the Bay of Bengal and the Lakshadweep Islands in the Arabian Sea. The Andaman and Nicobar Islands are of volcanic origin and are known for their rich biodiversity and dense forests. The Lakshadweep Islands, on the other hand, are coral islands famous for their pristine beaches and vibrant marine life. The importance of these physiographic regions cannot be overstated. Each region supports different economic activities such as agriculture in the northern plains, mining in the peninsular plateau and tourism in the coastal and island regions. The varied landscapes contribute to rich biodiversity with unique flora and fauna in each region. Physiographic features also influence climate patterns, monsoon distribution and weather phenomena across the country. Furthermore, different regions have distinct cultural practices, languages and traditions influenced by their geography. Understanding India's physiography is crucial for comprehending its environmental dynamics, resource distribution and regional diversity.